the water feels nice. Okay. Have you fallen it? This is like existentially, and we are at the lake for spring break this week during quarantine. And I just got my early birthday present, and so we're gonna check that out and unpack it and show you what all it comes with and how easy it is to set up, and then hopefully get to try it out today. So we've already taken off all of the box and the plastic packaging and the styrofoam and whatnot. It came really well packed. There's no like damage to the box or anything. Um, so it came with, I think it's a carbon fiber paddle. We'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So this is their 2020 cruiser and it comes with a pump and it comes with your fins, a bunch of stickers, a leash and a little waterproof package of spare parts and of course it comes with a color coordinated carrying bag it's super cool it's got lots of pockets and you can wear it as a backpack which we'll demonstrate in a bit All right, go so, for it. this is a backpack <laughs> so it's a little tall personally I'm 5'5 five five, and it's it's taller than me, almost. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a little tall, but it's definitely convenient. So just for comparison, Wes is six foot, five eleven and a half, six foot. <laughs> Here, you turn. There you go. It's got lots of pockets. It's got a bungee strap, some zippered pouches. So yeah, what do you think? It's very comfortable. I yeah. like it. Cool. Oh. All right, guys, and then on the inside of this bag, there's a middle strap to hold it down, and then there's a top and a bottom strap to keep it secure. And then, yeah, the paddle comes in three pieces. You could very easily pack it in here, along with everything else that you need. Yep. And then this is the actual board. We haven't unwrapped it yet. It comes in cellophane, you know, wrapped really tight. And then it was also packed in another layer of plastic as well. Very good quality pack job. All right, guys, let's take a second to really look at how many pockets are available in this thing. The top has a really deep pocket. It's, you know, it comes down the middle of my hand, almost, yeah, almost to, to elbow. her elbow, um, which is really deep, you know, in my opinion. That's the top. That's the big pocket. That's the big pocket for the thing. Yeah, so then you have another pocket here, which looks like it's about six to eight inches deep. And then you have this pocket in the middle, and that pocket is another like, like eight foot. to 12 yeah. inches down. And then, and then you look on the sides, you have cinch straps to close it down if you need to. And you have a zipper pocket and a mesh pocket on this side. On both sides. On both sides, yep. okay. And then you have your cinch straps and you've got a place, I'm assuming, uh, to put your paddle. Inflating the board took about 10 to 15 minutes, becoming challenging to inflate around the 10 PSI mark. We found that 17 PSI is a sweet spot for stability for us. We took turns inflating this, but you could easily complete it with just one person. The instructions were easy to understand, which helped because we've never used a pump that has three inflation settings before. Overall, we will probably buy the 12 volt electric pump as a luxury to speed up the inflation process, even though it's not really needed. Here it is, all blown up, we've got the fins put on. Wes got my safety leash attached for me. It's about 10 and a half foot and I think 33 inches wide, so it's supposed to be pretty stable <coughs> and good for beginners. So hopefully we'll be able to get me, maybe Thor, Connor on here. Thor's Let never me. Thor's never been on the water before, so we'll see. We'll see that goes. <laughs> All right guys, this is Christina's first attempt at the stand up paddleboard. Which is not currently standing anything because she is scared. <laughs> it is a kneeling paddleboard, apparently. It's like, I mean, otherwise, like, it is super first, easy. first impressions. <laughs> first impressions, it's super easy to get in the water, um, especially on your own. It's 
definitely a little rocky. Just like a kayak would be, I guess. But my kayak's a boat, so I'm used to a little bit more stability. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright guys, and so this is also another first. Aubrey has never paddled, paddled on, her own. on her own in a kayak. So she is learning very quickly how to not mess this up. <laughs> Here's Christina. Oh, she stood up. Is she going to make it? <laughs> Daddy. Does she know that have enough, like, stabilization? <laughs> I can see why this is a great workout, because you have to, like... <laughs> All right, she made it up, so that's a good thing. We're looking into getting a selfie stick to go on the paddleboard, so that way you don't have to watch an entire video film while looking at Wesley's feet. So hopefully we can get some better action shots directly from the paddleboard. Also, the transition of Connor getting on my paddleboard with me was incredibly easy. We didn't have any issues with it rocking or feeling like we couldn't control the wobble. He was able to get on, get off without any issues. Whoa, she's getting super, super brave already. Right. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look, she looks like a pro already. Um, surprisingly, it was incredibly easy. I've never been on a paddle before, and I was super anxious about falling off, especially because the water right now is freezing. But it was actually like really easy and I didn't have any issues. Um, we did realize that I prefer to have it at about 16, 17 PSI. It gives me a little bit more stability, especially with the kids um, swapping in and out of kayaks. So obviously the biggest pro for a paddleboard versus a kayak is the fact that it's super portable. It was super easy to just roll up, hike to a spot, inflate it, and get right out on the water. All right guys, I just gotta talk about how how proud of Aubre and Christina I am right now because Christina I thought was just gonna fall off this board continuously for at least two days worth of riding and she has yet to fall off and Aubre is being a trooper over here pushing this kayak by herself for the first time ever so props props to the family Overall first impressions, iRocker creates an incredible paddleboard that is super easy and super stable for a new to paddleboarding user to use without uh, worrying about falling off or any kind of issues like that. I love the color, I love that it comes with all of these great accessories and has a lot of accessories um, for purchasing as well. The quality is fantastic, we haven't had any issues and the kids have been pretty rough with it. I even got stuck on a log that has fallen underwater. So definitely no issues with quality. It's really fantastic and lightweight. We decided to go with iRocker based on you know comparative pricing with other brands. And then they had uh, great prices on their accessories when you purchase. Plus they are based out of Jacksonville, Florida, which is where we're from. And we always try to support local businesses when we can. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, let us know what you think. If you have any questions um, specifically about paddleboarding, just let us know in the comments and we'll post the link for paddleboarding.